imagine you could peer back in time. Imagine you could see how planets, galaxies, and the universe as we know it was formed. Well, that is the purpose of the James Webb Space Telescope. Now, these explorations, these um, things are very important um, because it gives us an understanding about our world and what we live on, how it was formed, how long we can expect it to live, um, and it can answer the question, is there anything else out there? Now, to best understand the James Webb Space Telescope, you'll have to understand three things. The technology, exactly how far it can see, and what those implications mean for uh, research and exploring space. The James, Webb, the James Webb Space Telescope, or as I like to call it, the JWST, um, uses sort of unconventional um, sensors. Uh, it uses infrared technology as opposed to a regular telescope just peering out. And there are two specific types of infrared technology it uses, but before we get to that, we have to understand a little bit about how infrared technology works. Um, now, as you can see on the diagram here, we see visible light, which is right here, and it's about right here within the wave spectrum. And right past that is where we get infrared sensors, infrared light. And this is non-visible light, so to the human eye, you can't see it. So that's why we need, or why the JWST needs two different types of infrared sensors in order to see and make sense of that light. The two that it uses is the mid-IR detector and the near-IR detector. Now, this might sound like it's something close, but I'd like to remind you that we're looking at the wave of the light, the near, the shorter waves of light, and the slightly wider waves of the light. So this has nothing to do with the actual distance, just to do with what it can see. The other piece of prominent technology within the space telescope, tele, ugh, JWST, is the micro shutters. Now, the micro shutters, um, as stated by um, NASA um, at the NASA.gov website, um, sort of a undisclosed time frame, sometime within 2006, um, are created specifically just for the James Webb Space Telescope, and they will direct the infrared in order to create a picture and allow you to focus it on specific objects, uh, such as planets, galaxies, and other things in deep space. Um, now, now that you know the technology, the next thing you need to know is how far can it actually see? Now, scientists expect to be able to see about 13.5 billion light years away. Now, that's pretty far. But you know, the Hubble can see 13.2 billion miles away. So what's the difference? The difference is, this is a picture taken by the Hubble. That's what you see, little tiny specks, hardly recognizable. You can tell that they're a galaxy, they're a star, but you really don't know what those are. The James Webb Space Telescope will use infrared to expand those images, to look into those planets, to allow you to see a whole lot more detail. And we'll get into that detail in a minute. Now the next thing that you have to understand, or to gather, is that the universe is 13.7 billion years old. And the James Webb Space Telescope can see 13.5 billion years ago, which is right around where it was 400 million. So um, you have to sort of take light years in terms of time. This is uh, stars that are 13.7 or 13.5 billion years old. This is light that is from the Big Bang. So we know that we're out here, and if you can see far enough, you'll be able to see the creation of planets, the creation of galaxies. And when looking at those creations of galaxies, back to our previous image, um, what this means is that um, we're able to see exactly how um, planets collide and form, as well as 
get a deeper look at those planets, look for oxygen um, and other gases which will point to life. So it gives us the ability to actually explore how life is created, how life comes to be on planets other than our own. Uh, answer the question, are we alone out there? So in conclusion, we've talked about the new technology used in the Hubble uh, in the JWST, how far the JWST, JWST can see, and the, um, the research implications about what we can see. And I leave you with, this is the answer to any question you have about space. How are planets formed? Is there life outside? The JWST can find those.